Well, it's a first of its kind home loan here in Maine. Because it's geared towards Muslims, there's technically no interest charged for it, so the cost is structured differently. And one bank is now offering the option. CBS 13's Mal Meyer joining us live with how this works and how it could help a lot of Mainers, Mal. Well, Greg, it's difficult to say just how many Muslims there are here in Maine, but some estimates put it right around 15,000 people. Many might avoid getting a home loan altogether because of their religion. I always wanted to own a home. Fausia Muse dreams of painting a house and planting flowers. Yeah, I'm looking forward to buying a home either or Lewiston or up and even turn to Maine. Her dreams were fast-tracked after surviving a shooting while traveling in Africa last year. Yes. Now she wants a house to fit her needs. Getting a loan, traditional loan, uh, even though I'm Muslim, for me was not a problem. In talking to Muslim scholars, she was told that she could get a mortgage that has interest. But for more devout Muslims, that's not an option. According to Islamic theology, uh, paying interest on a loan or charging interest on a loan is immoral, forbidden. Edward Ahmed Mitchell is with the Council on American Islamic Relations. It's still not widespread, but there are several major finance institutions that are offering this, but none of the major banks are yet. He says there are ways to do this. You're gaining popularity across the world. The deal is structured in a way that provides more security for the homeowner, a balance of risk and interest on both sides. This is an alternative way of financing home ownership. The bank still makes money. The Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center says it approached Anders Goggin Bank about the need for this. Home ownership is about gaining a sense of belonging, establishing roots. The process took about 18 months to create. While not going into exactly how it works, he makes a point to say these Sharia-compliant loans are open to non-Muslims, too. The bank tells us that they've had a few closings. As for Musa, she's considering getting rid of her more <laughs> traditional <laughs> loan. She's so excited for one that's Sharia-compliant. made my, um, my wanting to buy even more. And Andrew Scoggin Bank's CEO says in a statement that they're excited to offer access to financing alternatives to their new Mainer neighbors, adding that it's inspired them to listen deeply to all stakeholders to identify new challenges that they can lend support to. Live in the studio, I'm Mel Meyer.